sparring Russia's team. Olympic officials left the door open for some Russian athletes. Those with histories of rigorous drug testing may petition for permission to compete in neutral uniforms. A panel appointed by the International Olympic Committee will rule on each athlete's eligibility. Although it is unknown exactly how many will clear that bar, it is certain that the contingent from Russia will be depleted significantly. Entire sports, such as biathlon and cross-country skiing, in which Russia has excelled and in which its drug violations have been many, could be wiped out completely. Any of its athletes competing under a neutral flag will be referred to as Olympic athletes from Russia. That is a departure from how the I.O.C. has handled neutral athletes in the past. For example, athletes from Kuwait, which was barred from the 2016 Summer Games, were identified as independent Olympic athletes last year in Rio de Janeiro. Olympics officials said they might lift the ban on Russia in time for the closing ceremony, suggesting the nation's flag could make a symbolic appearance in the final hours of the Pyeongchang Games. Thomas Bach, president of I.O.C., has said he was perturbed not only by Russia's widespread cheating but by how it had been accomplished by corrupting the Olympic laboratory that handled drug testing at the Games and on orders from Russia's own Olympic officials. This decision should draw a line under this damaging episode. Quote, Mr. Bach said at a news conference, noting that Alexander Azukov, the president of Russia's Olympic Committee whom the I.O.C. suspended from its membership Tuesday, had issued an apology, something global regulators have long requested from the nation. In an elaborate overnight operation at the 2014 Sochi Games, a team assembled by Russia's sports ministry tampered with more than 100 urine samples to conceal evidence of top athlete steroid use throughout the course of competition. More than two dozen Russian athletes have been disqualified from the Sochi standings as a result, and Olympic officials are still sorting through the tainted results and rescinding medals. At the coming Games, Mr. Bach said Tuesday, a special medal ceremony will reassign medals to retroactive winners from Sochi. But, in light of legal appeals from many of the Russian athletes who have been disqualified by the I.O.C., it is uncertain if all results from Sochi will be finalized in time. The Russian Olympic Committee was also fined $15 million on Tuesday. Money that global officials said will be put toward drug testing international athletes. Read the Times S report that first laid out the details of Russia's doping scheme and the exclusive story of a whistleblower's personal diaries that were shared with investigators. The punishment announced Tuesday resembles what anti doping regulators had lobbied for leading up to the 2016 Summer Games where Russia was allowed to participate but in restricted numbers. It is likely to face a legal appeal from Russia's Olympic Committee. The decision was announced after top International Olympic Committee officials had met privately with Mr. Zukov, Vitaly Smirnov, Russia's former sports minister who was last year appointed Mr. Putin to lead a national anti-doping commission to redeem Russia's standing in global sports.